Good morning, students. Welcome to Grade Three Science Lesson: Animals in Local Habitat. Lesson Objective: To identify the habitats of different animals. Animals need homes to protect themselves and their babies from other animals. What is a habitat? A habitat is a special place where a plant or an animal lives. Just like you have a home to live in, so do plants and animals. Starter activity. What are the things that animals need to survive? Option A, food. Option B, shell. C, shelter. D, toys. Let's check the answers. Answer is option A. And option C. That means food and shelter. An animal needs five basic things to survive in its habitat. Food, water, shelter, air, a place to raise its young ones. Let's have a look at some habitats and see who lives there. First one, woodland. Second one, pond. Fox, hedgehog, rabbit are woodland animals. Frog, fish, duck are pot animals. What is a woodland? An area where there are lots of trees growing together. These are some examples of woodland animals. Hedgehog. Owl, woodpecker, rabbit, fox. Let's watch a video. Hi, I'm Pavati. Welcome to my house in the great American Southwest. <laughs> and this is my pet ferret, Blinks. When I'm hungry, I get food from the kitchen. When I'm cold, I put on a jacket. I have everything I need. My home is my habitat. Your habitat is where you live, a place that's just right for you. Animals have habitats that are just right for them, too. Want to see one of the coldest habitats on Earth? <laughs> Let's go! Welcome to the Arctic Tundra. Let's see how this polar bear lives in the extreme cold of the tundra. To stay warm, she has thick fur and a layer of fat under her skin called blubber. Those pads keep her feet warm, even when walking on ice. Her fur is so white, she almost disappears into the snow. That way, she can sneak up on seals and other animals that she likes to eat. All of these things that help polar bears to live here, like the layer of fat and the thick pads on their feet, are called adaptations. This polar bear has adaptations that help it to live in this cold tundra habitat. But Blinks and I don't. So I think it's time that we go somewhere a little warmer. This forest habitat is really different from the tundra. It's warm, wet, and green. Let's see how the beaver's adaptations help him to live in this forest habitat. 
Beavers love to eat the food here, like leaves, bark, and branches. He uses his big, sharp teeth to cut down trees. The beaver drags the tree onto a dam using his teeth to grip it, then using his paws to push it into position, and then scoops mud with his paws. The forest is just right for a beaver. It has everything it needs to survive. Can you imagine a beaver living in the tundra? The grasslands are a flat, dry habitat. Let's see how this prairie dog's adaptations help him to live here. He lives underground, so he needs strong legs to dig lots of tunnels. And his long, skinny body makes it easy for him to move through his underground home. He lives in a group called a colony. Prairie dogs eat grass and seeds, which is a good thing, because there's a lot of grass and seed in his habitat. They also like the grasslands because the ground is flat. Even though prairie dogs are small, they can see danger coming and warn their friends. Ready to see a different habitat? <laughs> the ocean may be the most interesting habitat of all. Let's see how this shark's adaptations help it to live here. Those slits on the side of his head are for gills that can take oxygen out of the water. That's how a shark breathes. See that long, smooth body? That helps the shark swim very fast. And of course, a shark has rows and rows of sharp teeth to eat lots of fish. The ocean and the shark are perfect for each other. Right, Blinks? Maybe the ocean isn't for you, but there are lots of other habitats. Mountains, deserts, freshwater lakes and rivers, and of course, my favorite habitat, home. I guess that's your favorite habitat, too. <laughs> Hope you have enjoyed the video. Match the animal with its habitat. These are your options. Option A, the old school site. B, miles of open land. C, corner of a garden. And D, pond. First picture, a frog. Second one, a beetle. Third one, an eagle. Last one, a mouse. Let's check the answers. First one is D, that means pawn. Second one, C, corner of a garden. Third one, B, miles of open land. And the last one, option A, the old school site. Points to remember. Animals need a habitat where there is food. Some animals eat plants. Rabbits, ducks, swans. Some animals eat other animals. Like fox, owl, eagle. A fox has sharp teeth and sharp eyes to catch its prey. Water birds have webbed feet. Water birds have webbed feet. Birds like eagles and owls have sharp eyes and claws. A rabbit has widely spaced eyes set high on its head that allows it to see predators easily.
how is the body of this animal suited to its habitat crocodiles have sharp eyes for seeing the prey big mouth to swallow the food sharp teeth to hold the prey tough skin to protect from enemies strong tail for swimming why do more birds visit a garden that has lots of insects option a animals need a habitat where there is food option b they don't need food to survive c many birds eat insects let's check the answers correct answers are option a and option c animals need a habitat where there is food many birds eat insects assessment the place where a plant or an animal lives is called a dash a crocodile has a dark skin to protect from their enemies some birds have sharp dash for hunting prey your options are eyes habitat thick let's check the answers the place where a plant or an animal lives is called a habitat a crocodile has a thick skin to protect from their enemies some birds have sharp eyes for hunting prey identify the habitat look at the picture when you have to identify the habitat your options are option a woodland option b desert the correct answer is woodland thank you children have a nice day take care bye